everyone. In this little video, I'm going to be showing you all about your color editing and your Copic library. Okay, these are your two coloring options that you have. Okay, so I'm just going to pop them over here so we can see them both next to each other with our options. Okay, so I'm going to look at the Copic library first. Okay, now you'll notice first off that you've got these two tabs at the top. You've got your illustration color set and your design color set. Okay, your, your color uh, puck across the top here, your coloring options are all the same for both. You'll just notice you've got different color options inside there. Now this is really good if you actually work with Copics and you're familiar with the color layout for that. Um, and basically you can just choose whatever color you want and then you draw it on your, on your page. Okay, so what's really also great about this is that down the bottom here, you've got a complementary uh, color option as well. So if you're ever thinking there going, I don't know what color is really going to go nicely with this color I've chosen, I can go down here and it's going to give me the complementary uh, color for that. So you can see that I've got the yellows and it brings up so I can choose something in here, which is going to look really nice with my yellow. And again, it'll give you a complementary for your yellows and greens and so on. So here's my greens. I'm going to choose this green. There's no color option at the bottom that it recommends, but you can choose something else, okay, and it's recommending a, a violet or something like that, okay? Um, your little arrow up top here is really good if you want to hide it, so you want to minimize it and just see the color you're currently using, okay? And you can also customize your own color set down the bottom. And basically, that's your Copix. It's just really great if you're familiar with Copic colors um, and you've got your Illustrate and your design set. All right, I'm going to now look at the color editor, okay? First of all, this little toggle across the top, this actually indicates the color that I currently have selected. So, first of all, I can choose any color around my wheel. So I'm going to choose somewhere in the yellow. You'll notice that wherever I choose or drop my color, the color in the middle here also changes. Okay, so let's say I choose a red. Inside red here, I can now choose any color and hue I want inside there. I can go straight up for white and I can go straight down for black. Okay, so there's a color I've chosen. I can, inside here very quickly, I can also flip to eraser if I want to erase something. Okay, and then I can go back to my color and add more color in. You then have these little toggle types here which will allow you to open up a higher degree of color. So if you're really into your color and you're quite specific, you can come in here and be more selective with your color. So you can actually start off by changing the color type you have. I would recommend staying in the RGB. And then here you'll notice that as soon as I start bringing my colors up and down on the different colors, so your red, green, and blue, you'll notice that my colors up here are also changing. Okay, so if you're really um, trying to use a specific color, I'd also recommend writing those numbers down or saving them in your presets to use later on. So let's just say I'm going to do my purple circle over here and then I've gone off and I've done a green and now I want to go back and use this red, but I can't remember quite what red I was using here. What you can do is you can use this little color picker and I can come over here and I can click on it and you'll see up in my top corner here that it's now selected that color. I can do that with any, okay? So something else I really want to um, show you guys is if you also, I'm going to quickly bring in an image, okay? And say I'm doing this drawing of a bumblebee and I want to pick up on a certain color because I'm doing a drawing. I can also pick up that color puck and I can click on my image here and it will also pick up the color that's naturally there. Okay, if you're doing shortcut keys and say you're, you've got your blue, you're over here and you're painting and then all of a sudden you want to do that and you're finding it too much hassle going backwards and forwards, you can hold your alt key and then click and it will automatically pick up that color. And you'll notice I can even scroll around until I get a specific color I'm looking for. So maybe it's that really light tone there in the middle. Okay, and then it's selected it for me. Okay. All right, so they're basically how to use your colors, okay? Quick erase, your eye color, so your eyedropper, of course, is your alt, a shortcut, and so on, okay? Have heaps of fun in here playing around with colors, guys. 
So they're your two main options, Colored Editor and your Copic Library, and they can be found up here together. All right, have colorful adventures, guys.